Cartoon Network Tower. Okay. Vines. Okay. Coin down here. Oh, boop, boop. Okay, that makes more sense. For some reason, it wasn't occurring to me that it was going to wrap around like that. Not too far off, honestly. I thought I was going to be farther behind there. Whew. I didn't even think I was going to hit that turn block, honestly. God damn! Woo! <laughs> I saw that midway coming and I was like, oh, do not fuck up this jump. And I was very far down. Whew. Cool segment. Thank you for the H. Also, pretty background. <sighs> Close. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, we lived. Nice. <laughs> I was not expecting to live while getting that coin, if I'm being perfectly honest. Generous 28, but we'll take it. I thought I missed the tape entirely. Okay. Cool. 28. Thanks for the G's, y'all. Fun level. Oh yeah, another exit also. We are going to these pretty fast. I'm pretty proud of ourselves. Okay. But now there's a flight level, so rip progress. Oh, it's instant takeoff. <laughs> Woo! This feels weird. <laughs> I like don't have to run at all to take off. Can I spin flight up to here? Okay. Okay, thank y'all for letting me figure out the duck flying thing on my own, because I'm sure it was pretty tempting to just say hold the shell and do it, but I appreciate y'all just letting me figure it out. I also appreciated the hints, because I probably wouldn't have gotten it otherwise, but I appreciate not just being told what to do.
I like, <laughs> I dropped from my height slightly faster than I was expecting. And it messed so much up. I'm not sure if I just like, let go. I think I let go slightly late, honestly. I'm trying to watch back on the other monitor that's over here. Um, I think I let, just let go a little late, but... Don't forget to take off again, please. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. H. We'll take it. I feel like if that... There were like some rooms that you had to one-shot, but I feel like if every room was a room that you had to one-shot, that race level might have been a little bit on the too much side. The original design did not. I could see that. Okay. This is a preview. Let me preview that again. Spin flight under there, wrap around. Okay, we'll just figure it out. <laughs> well, that's not it. <laughs> Destroy that bottom row. Okay. I freaked out! <laughs> nice. I'm glad that I was able to do it at least. Because <laughs> now that I now that I know what to do, it's gonna be impossible to do. But I did figure it out and was able to actually do it, which is nice. All right, 29. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I was gonna go for the moon again. I kind of forgot it was there even though we were just talking about it. <laughs> so instead, I'll just take the clear in the 29. Um, before we get started on abstract pipes, also thank you for the cheese, y'all. How's it going, everyone? Hi. I'm Seo. You may remember me from such streams as Bun Bun 2 and Bun Bun 3. Today, we're. Okay. <clears throat> Um, I watched people play this a decent amount when it came out, but I haven't seen it in a while. This is my first time playing this. Nice. Okay. H. Making pretty good progress on this, I'd say. Thanks for the H's. The flow. It's got the three. 
I appreciate that you can still get it with three, it's just really fucking hard to get it with three and is obviously intended to get it with four. But I appreciate that getting it with three is at least possible. Jump and right. Okay. Okay. Twenty eight again. Nice. Means we're going to a bonus level. GG. Thanks, MB. Also, hi, MB. Alright. Last bonus castle. Dashy. Thanks for the Gs, y'all. What's going on here? Back, thank you for gifting a sub to MB. MB, enjoy the emotes. Did I, did I do a shell jump from this one? That's an awkward shell jump. Computer just flaked out. That happens. No! So close. Thank you, Vec. Much appreciated. Also, hi, Vec. No! Hey! Nice. That was a weird ass shell jump, but I liked it. Also, I feel like we actually kind of blasted through that Switch Palace, honestly, given the other ones. <laughs> Alright. Wait, My Chemical Romance dropped a new song? What year is this? <laughs> Alright, Origin of Blocks. Got it. Ah, uh, yes, these. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's let's stream marker that because that took a little bit. Priestly nun nun, stop it! I was signing up for the Friday the Thirteenth tattoos tomorrow round, and it was like so stressful because I signed up for myself very quickly, and then it took me Pay attention and dodge things. When I tried to sign up for my friend as well, so I had to use my Bun Bun account to sign up. Yeah. Okay, just wait. Alright, I gotta see this day. Probably because I was anxious. Yeah. So. <laughs> why did I why did I think I needed to like squeeze through there and jump up and get off of uh, that was way more complicated I than I needed to make it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna depend on who's doing it. Like, if it's Jeff who's doing it. Very long time, honestly, because, like, Bun will tell you that the second that we got together, it felt like we were just kind of friends for forever already. 
Like, there, was, there was never that, like, really awkward, like, I have no idea what to talk about moment, which is pretty wild. Um, oh, hey. Nice. That was a very fast age. Cool. <laughs> yeah, also, switch over. Okay. Announcement? Oops. We have announcements now? What? And you just announced? Oops. That's our first announcement back? Oops. B announcement. Hype train trolley problem. It probably has an E, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> That's such a good Wiggler emote, Molly. I'm always a fan of Wiggler emotes. Okay. Carlos says, have you ever considered having other animals in Coffee Meow? Like tadpoles or slugs or hypes? But I do appreciate yeah, yes, a good Mario Golf Wiggle. I'm not sure who at Nintendo thought that Wiggler would be a good addition to the Mario Golf crew, but they were absolutely right. So kudos to that person. Who? Nice yeah. Cool segment. God damn. What a pretty ending, god damn. Oh, I can't get my fluffy pink rug though. Oh, it's this boss, hell yeah. Or my painting, I keep, I keep forgetting the painting. Okay, so this is like the one part of this game that I actually have seen before this. Thank you for the G's, y'all. Oh, thank you. That was a very fun segment. Okay, so this is like the one part of this game that I actually had seen before this. Thank you for the G's, y'all. That was a very fun segment, Borgie. Oh, I gotta hurry. <laughs> no! Eh. No! Damn it! <laughs> we got so far! Okay. This is awesome. Run. Um, and, like, the things that you have to do to be able to, like, even get to the point where you're able to, like, try a Grandmaster run is some of the most high-level gameplay of, like, anything I've ever seen. It's ridiculous. And then you have to, like, you know, beat the Master run or Grandmaster run or whatever. But, like, there's, like, parts where you have to, like get clears on clears on clears like with invisible rows of tetris shit <laughs> so like you have to like remember where everything's at in addition to like playing tetris with everything scrolling hella fast okay maybe don't die to that one okay <laughs> fast tetris <laughs> At least based on the behavior of the blocks in the first half. Which should also explain why they like hurt you on the way down from the sides. Because they hurt you while they're a sprite, but not as a block. Okay. Hey. New behavior coded for the following blocks might make an update for them to be non lethal from the sides one day. Honestly, the way you designed it, I would say that it's not super necessary. If you were ever to design anything in the future with those blocks, I would say obviously just use those ones. Um, but, like, you designed around the fact that they, like, hit you from the sides still. 
Like the only time I ever really ran into any issues with it was that part um, in the first like real segment of the level, I guess. Uh, where you have to like very quickly jump up before you have to like hit the Kaizo blocks and stuff. That was the only time I ever like really brushed into the side of the block and it didn't really feel like I was, I guess. No! Right? <laughs> oh, Finley, Finley, Finley. Oh, we got Finley's food bowl. Oh, yeah, That's you can needed. kill these. Oh, yeah. Somehow I forgot that, even though I had just done it in the previous segment. That was far, far more okay, sketch it than it needed to be for that. Right but we got it. And I oh, think, I think, this is credits. Alright. Thus Mario does the flames of wrath off those mysterious blocks, restoring peace to the archipelago. Thanks for the G's, y'all. Thanks. Thank you for the boost, but it means a lot. Sometimes villains are just plain pernicious polygons. Pernicious? Pernicious, I believe. <laughs> Why did the Detriminas attack in the first place? Also, where are the inhabitants? So they'll then. AD Dad, thank you for the gift sub to Cam. Cam, enjoy the emotes. Twitch must have done something to, like, increase the accuracy of gift subs. <laughs> Maybe these kinds of questions are better left unanswered. Because I feel like all gift subs lately have been, like, hitting the mark. So, thanks, y'all. Inspirations? It's a good list of inspirations. If y'all have not played the original Donkey Kong Country trilogy, do it. Because it's good. Also, this is a cute-ass credits level. Oh, hey. Sean is the author of the next hack that we're going to be playing. So, fitting. I also want to play something by Furpy soon. Because Super Cool World looks pretty interesting. And I feel like any time I see a Furpy level, it's always really like intense with the visuals. Even though they're like all vanilla, which is pretty cool. Alright, uh, I guess I should probably talk about the hack also. Very, very, very cool hack. If y'all have not played this yet, do yourselves a favor and do it. Uh, pretty solidly intermediate, I would say. Uh, but honestly, like, pretty much like smack in the middle of intermediate. The segments are on the shorter side for the most part. Uh, the Yoshi segment in particular, there's like one segment that's like kind of long. That was the Yoshi one, but other than that, everything is like super easy to complete oh hey speaking of <laughs> uh super easy to read super easy to just run through um i mean i guess the benefit of if you raid me is i can just angle it so you're not on and you don't have to talk to anyone or whatever shout out to barb poo carl panga glitch and ryu all uh very very good people you should check out i don't have an enemy to read everyone here but if you see people on this list that you're not following, y'all should be following them. Cause they all deserve it. Thank you for a fantastic hack, Borgie. Means a lot. Yo, there's Bun Bun in the credits! I'm in the credits?! Yup! Oh. No, I don't think Bun knew she was in the credits. And if you don't follow Borgie on all the socials, you should. 
Because Borgie is a fantastic artist. Draws a lot of really cool Mario stuff. And a lot of cool non-Mario stuff too. What about the switches? You're in the credits too? Yeah. I saw that too. Ah, uh, shit, we got the switches. I thought I was going to have to do more grinding. Oh, but it's just going to take me straight here. Thank you for that, Borgie. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to grind. And instead, I just get the switch. Okay. Nice. I'm glad that I just get to go straight to there. Do I, do I need to go see MYK Palace, or is this just here for me if I needed to hit more? I think it's just here if I needed to hit more, right? Okay. I don't think I ever ran past that orb, actually. Let me check what's past that orb before I run in. It's nothing. Okay. Rumor has that there's a hidden level in this odd area. Its position on the map is a bit out of left field, though. Oh. Okay. Kitty, what's Does that mean... Aha! You go left. Off into the cosmos. <laughs> Pride Land this is the level I thought it was. Okay. So, this level is awesome. Also, I think I'm officially up to 16 out of 16 exits now. So, I'm going to change that. Because now we are on. Welcome to bonus stage. Uh, get out all your pride pogs, pride emotes, whichever ones you want to use. It's also pretty long. I do remember this level being on the long side, but that's okay. Like I said, I raced it, so I know it's going to take a, around an hour or so. I don't exactly know how long it's going to take, but... Okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I remembered what to do last time. I just messed it up. Alright. One down. Bye, room. Bye's invisible. Like Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. To not hit that disco shell. The end of that disco ride's actually kind of hard because it's just butts up against the wall. Italian. Also, I don't know if I said hi to you when, when I saw you earlier, but hi. I don't really know what the throw block's for, if I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> I 
There we go. Okay. I remembered the movement that I needed to do to actually get that H at least. Non-binary room, let's go. Stomping in anger. Thanks for the age. Can you stun? <laughs> Alright, I have everything down to the backwards shell jump thing. Like, at least mapped out to the point where I know when I'm doing it wrong. So I feel like it's just a matter of time now. Kicked that way too hard backwards. Okay. You know, now that I'm thinking about it. I probably raced this level at about the time I was playing Rift World, and it might have actually even been at about the time I had to do the really fucked up backward shell jump in Rift World. <laughs> so that might have been why I don't remember this quite as much. Jesus! Momo, just in time with the resub. I don't know if we've ever had a resub H before, but thank you. 16 months, goddamn. Nice. Um, this is a... This is Ace, right? The Prom Hack Races restream ended. Even when I quit on a level, I try to at least give the full two hours if i um, up to doing so for the level. Just mostly out of respect for the creators who obviously put a lot of time into the level. If I haven't made enough progress by then, though, I tend to cut myself off now. Okay. I went to check and you did finish this level during the race. Well, goddammit, I didn't highlight it then. I'm mad at myself for that. But I did get an H, so we'll take it. Right now? Yeah. GG. Trans room. Oh. Okay, I do remember this room, so I definitely beat this. Summons the closest carryable item to Mario's hand, so pressing Y. Okay. Saturday, I'll do more monkey ball and then we'll do some community Mario games if anyone is up for it. Um, so we'll do cart, Marty Party, golf, whatever people have and want to play. Um, and then probably Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll do art and cats. You'll be home by then too! Nice! When did you leave? I knew you were going out of town. Did you just get there today? supposed to be not talking anymore when Amanda got here. Hey, H. You did? Okay. One more, I think. Big ol' H. Rainbow. Game for yesterday. Nice. Ah, uh, yes. The segment that blends everything together. It was a very cool final segment for this level. Hey, Shao, how's it going? Good to see you. Uh, hey. 
What a cute ending. Oh. Dedicated to the LBGTQIA faction of the Super Mario World community. You matter. Pride Pogs in chat, everyone. And we got the 50 for it. Let's go. All the celebrations. Alright, so that didn't count as an exit, but it was a cute secret exit that I really wanted to play. Uh, so we're going to run back and do Terminal Climb and do the very last segment with all of the Switch Blocks now. Um, because those that weren't here earlier, this is the final level and there's a branching path that you can take at the beginning of this level after you have all the switches. It's gonna basically depend on how my hands feel probably tomorrow. I want to start Chon's new hack, Love Yourself, but I may wait until next week depending on how my hands feel. Um, it's either gonna be Chon's new hack or Storm Silver tomorrow because Bun wants to be here for the end of Chicory, so... Only those who found all the gamer coins. Oh, hey, that's also us. Let's go. Oh, hey. Okay, so I gotta beat this segment, but hard mode now, it looks like. Yeah. Honestly, like, as long as it's labeled correctly or has a ton of checkpoints, I'm pretty fine with the fucked up hard precision. It's just when stuff like tries to portray itself as like being beginner friendly when it's not, it kind of starts to bother me a bit more. But that's just because I remember being a new player and very much trusting that system to kind of guide me to... Okay, hold on. We actually have a PB here. Think that's it? <sighs> that's it. All right. Whew. That was tricky. Oh, what? yes. GG. You've made it. What a gamer. Thanks. <laughs> Hi, Roni. How's it going? Mario can now go home free, and so can you. Bed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for playing to the end. Of course, Borgie. Oh, Fantastic not hack. Any other way. Um. Oh, <laughs> what a cute ending screen. Smacked the computer. It was so cute. I smacked it. That was pretty fast. Thanks. I feel like we did learn that pretty fast. <laughs> TV decided to restart. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> uh. Top tier hack, Borgie. If you all like Hyzo and have not played Luminescent yet, uh, build up to it or play it as soon as possible, depending on where you're at, I guess, in your Kaizo journey. Uh, but definitely add it to your Kaizo journey if you have not actually played it yet. Sometimes you just got a slappy. True. Very true. <laughs> Redeemed hydrate? I'm gonna hydrate.